al jurista, abogado en leyes, Beck, abogado especializado en derechos civiles. Thomas E. Beck, civil rights attorney. Welcome. Good to be here. Well, this program is bilingual, but now it's up to me. English, right? For the uh, moment. <laughs> how long have you been practicing law? 21 years. 21 years. Uh, how many cases uh, against police have you handled? Over 300. How many have won? Less than half. Less than half. Is it profitable? A lot of money? You can make a living at it, yes. Yes. Uh, how difficult is to prove a case against police? Extremely. Very difficult. That's why you don't win them all. Uh, do you have uh, some case in, in mind that you want to tell us about it? I've got a lot of cases in mind. Um, most of the cases that you, you make your money on, you don't take the trial. That's because the other side says, we don't want all the dirt to come out. If we go to trial, the dirt comes out. So we'd rather just pay you to be quiet. Nowadays, uh, we had to have everything in a videotape to prove the case. Even that Otherwise, work. it's very hard. Even that, if, yeah. even that, even that doesn't work. I've, you, you see it happen now in cases where videotape, as soon as the videotape becomes available, they steer a story around the videotape. It's all... Story. What, the, the allegation that, is, uh, uh, that uh, corruption is taking place in L.A. Police Department has been the rampart. That cor uh, alleged corruption has been on for years? It's been there since the day I started. It was there before I started, and it'll be there long after I retire. Then no hope. No, because the institution does it to the office. I don't think anybody comes in wanting to be crooked. I think they end up being made crooked. It's the name of the game. Can you tell us a little bit about what is taking place in Rampart? Well, only what I know from the press, but I can tell you that I'm very familiar with the Los Police Department. I've litigated most of my cases against LAPD. Uh, uh. Can we say that California is a state police? No, I wouldn't call it a police. But I could say that, um, as far as I know, there's about 50,000 police officers, law enforcement officers in Los Angeles County, from all kinds, federal, California. And I would say that, to be fair, maybe about 10 or 15% of them are the ones that are the crooks, the ones that cause the trouble. Can we police? We'd like to, but I don't think it's smart. Uh, how many out of 10 do you think are uh, corrupt police officers? Too many. Too, too many? many? Too. Problem is that the, the ones that cause the trouble are protected by the rest. If you get 5 to 15% of the officers who cause the abuse and jailings and the, and, and the abuses, most of them are protected by the rest. That's why they get away with it. I'm not suggesting every one of these police departments are completely crooked, but they have too much protection. The bad guys really get a lot of protection from inside the organization. That's why they get away with it. I started interviews backwards. Now, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I've been doing this kind of work for a very long time, and I have limited my practice to learning how to work the police cases. Uh, that's because if you go outside of it, You'll never know how. Most of the cases are settled out of court. The vast majority are, yes. What is the reason? <coughs> well, one of the reasons is because the defense, when you have a strong case, doesn't want that, that bad news to reach the public. You know, once there's a public trial, everybody gets to know the, know the dirt. They don't want that dirt out. On the other hand, um, if they think they can beat that, then they'll make you go to trial. Does minority have a uh, more problem to prove a case? Oh, yeah. You are telling me that the jurors also are corrupted. <coughs> no, I'm not suggesting the jurors are corrupted. I think that the jurors try to but be But they're fair. in cahoots with the police. They believe the, the police before well, the... Not in cahoots, but it's true. They want to believe the police, and they mostly do believe the police. And the reason that these cases are lost, whether it's by white folks or by others, it's because the police are lying and, they, and the jury believes them. Well, now with this uh, commotion about uh, alleged corruption in the L.A. Police Department, the judge vacate uh, the orders about uh, gang members, Strange, especially the of the uh, 18th Street, some others. Right. Comment. Well, it's the right thing to do because they got the injunction simply because many of the officers who now have been targeted 
as being corrupt and, and having lied, provided the civil court with, with false information to get that injunction. So obviously it shouldn't be enforced and it's not being enforced for the moment. Do you think any case in which the person was uh, convicted and sent to prison and uh, there was uh, any testimony or participation in the conviction from that police officer, the lie, and he admitted should be released? Of course. I mean, that, that should be done. The question is, how do you identify those cases? And what happens to the police officers? You know, they, they release people from jail, but they don't, they don't put the cops back in jail for having put that individual in jail in the first place. Yeah, I understand there is an uproar of the people, the neighborhood, of those, uh, where those gang members uh, were uh, set free. To be free on the streets, they are very upset, and they want the judge to reissue the order. Well, the orders can be reissued, provided that the courts are given good information from honest police officers. If there's a reason for the injunction and the judge gets good information, then obviously the injunction can go back. But right now, the information is false, or proven to be false in any event. Uh, then it's fair to say or to think that uh, we will be better off without our police department? No, of course not. No, we need the police. The problem is, because we need the police, gets the, allows them to abuse their position. What is the solution to have a good, honest police force? It has to do with how the department is managed. It really is managed from the bottom up, because the people who come into the agency and on the bottom, the widest numbers of officers, they're the ones that are managing that agency and their immediate supervisors. It's not being managed from the top down. You represent, you've been representing victims, right? Many years. Okay, where the money of the settlements come from? Never from the police officer. Never from the police officer. Who pays for it? Taxpayers. You can show the worst behavior by a police officer and a jury can be very angry, but that policeman will never go to jail, will never get in trouble, and the money that the jury's award, huge sums of money, will never be paid by that police officer. Okay, the, the police officer is, is uh, let's say, convicted in a civil civil trial. He's yes. guilty, and uh, you get the award for your, uh, your uh, client. client, and uh, that police officer will go back to work like nothing? Correct. He's being paid to be in the trial. He's being paid to come to the depositions. And when it's all over and he loses, it doesn't even go in his personnel records. There's no record of it having been lost. When he's appraised the next time, he could go in for a performance appraisal the next day. And the, and the jury's finding against him will not even show up in his performance appraisal. There is any estimation from your part about how many cases will be affected with this scandal? Honestly, don't know. I don't know. If you have any question for Thomas E. Beck, civil rights attorney, you are more than welcome to do so. Call in our phone and talk to him. Santana en vivo, Santana live. Hello? He was waiting, waiting, waiting. Hello? And he gave up. Somebody gave up. Santana en vivo, Santana live. Yeah, I have two very important issues that I'd like to bring and now that we have this attorney here. Uh, <clears throat> number one, and uh, if I can just go over the two issues and then the attorney can please uh, uh, give, give us his opinion. Uh, uh, number one, one, why would you advise the community to protect themselves against, you know, little tips you can give us, you know, from the police? And number two, I heard that there's a panel that the police is going to be investigating uh, this abuses. So imagine that their own police are going to investigate it themselves. So hey, so nothing is going to happen. That's why everybody is pissed off because there's no going to be justice. Imagine their own police. I don't know if you guys read. I read it on the paper. Did you, Attorney Beck? Did you read it? Yes, of course. So imagine that. I mean, rather than to name an independent institution, now they got the same cops investigating themselves, so nothing is going to happen. What's going to happen is the, the minorities are going to start, they're going to get pissed off and they're probably going to start shooting, really. That's well, what's I hope gonna that happen. doesn't happen. Huh? I hope they don't start shooting. That well, would be bad I mean, I mean, imagine what they did to the poor guy. They put it right through a the wall. They plant evidence on him. Uh, they stole cocaine. I mean, well, I mean, why is it, what are the blacks and the, the minorities going to be doing? Now, uh, question number one, why would you advise the community 
to do when they get stopped by this guy. Honestly, I'm, you know, I'm scared of this guy. You know, God knows what they happen if they get me in a rally. Okay, know? one of the things that you must do is cooperate. I mean, one of the ways to piss a cop off is not to cooperate. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do something you feel is wrong, but generally speaking, a way to avoid, one of the ways to avoid being beat up is to cooperate. Uh, right, but sometimes even if you do, because I've seen cases it is if you do, but I tell you one thing, attorney back, that if, if I see that so, you know, one of those people are going to injure my wife or a kid or something, I would go to life, but I'll protect my family, well, no, the, sure. You, listen, if that happens, if you have a legitimate to defend another person against the police officer, then do it. I'm not suggesting that that's improper, but of course they're going to lie about you and suggest that you attack them for no reason. Well, let's take a short break. Uh, our guest, Thomas Ibeck, a civil rights attorney, is here to talk to you. Volveremos. Los servicios médicos de clínicas del Camino Real se proporcionan a todas las personas sin distinción. Medicina general, pediatría, 